Hey y'all, it is a beautiful day. I am headed out of town with another load of fish. As you know, if you follow my channel, I'm moving. I had worked two hours away from home for a while and bought a home near work, but I've resigned from that position, so now I'm moving, gonna be selling that home, so I'm slowly taking my time and moving out of that house and moving uh, my things back into my primary residence and, and, and some fish tanks. So, you know, and all I've got, all I've got is some 10 gallons, some 20 longs, and some 20 talls, and a few small little betta tanks, and, and totes. I, I've also raised some fish and bred some fish in totes as well. But I'm taking, um, I think I've just got two tins in the car right now, and then I've got some angelfish in a bucket. <laughs> and I've got a tank set up already at home, so I'll just be putting these angelfish that are in a bucket um, in that tank I've already got set up. And what I decided to do, it's just construct a fish rack out of the concrete blocks and some lumber that we had. Um, I just went down to a scrap pile that we have near our barn and found some lumber and, and brought it in and I primed the, the concrete blocks and primed the lumber and now I've painted it. I just found some paint. I'm always trying to use what I have. Um, I'd really try to be frugal and just and also just just not wasteful. You know, not waste things you have. And so I had some paint left over from I thought that room when I painted years ago, it looked the same. <laughs> so I started painting these concrete blocks and that lumber with that kind of a, it's actually called elephant's breath, or that's what I thought it was. And, um, or anyway, that room was painted elephant's breath. But as after I got it painted and it dried, it's not a, it's not the same paint. It's it's close. It's it's just it's all it's kind of more yellow. I, it seems like I always lose my iPad on that curve. Um, it's a little more yellow than I'd like it to be, but I don't care. It's uh, I mean I do care. <laughs> I'm not I don't care enough to change it. I'm moving these tanks and I'm setting these tanks up. And so what that it's a little more yellow than I wanted it to be. Uh, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm, I'm not gonna repaint before I do all that. But anyway, I'm on my way two hours south with a load of fish and, if, and a load of some just clothes and shoes and purses and things from that other house that I need to just slowly move out of. But I wanted to talk about a YouTube channel that I've, I've just found recently and it's called Michael's Fish Room. I think that's what it's called. But uh, I've only seen it a few times, but he's, he's a very down-to-earth fish keeper. Um, he's no, he doesn't put on. He actually, on a live I saw the other night, he was actually kind of bragging about, I shouldn't say bragging, he was just commenting or admitting that he is what you see is what you get kind of a YouTuber. He, I think, made the comment something to the effect of, when you meet me in person, I'm the same way as I am right now doing this live with y'all. And I appreciate that. I appreciate someone that's just casual and not trying to put on any kind of false front when they're when they're doing their, their lives on their YouTube channel. But one the topic that night which interested me was about moving fish. And he was um I what I took from the the live chat was that people make too big a deal out of it and they make it too hard. And his philosophy is just put your fish in a bucket, take them where you're going, uh, f put your, fill up those new tanks with the tanks where you're going with just clean water, but just use your sponge filter from the old tank. And that'll be enough of that old bacteria and that good stuff that we need in our tanks to, so as people say, have a cycled tank. So th uh, that's what I took from his video, but check, his, check it out if you haven't ever seen his videos. I hope I'm so, <laughs> that's the name of the channel, Michael's Fish Room. But uh, seems like a nice guy, seems like a pretty knowledgeable guy. Um, he has a fish room and raises a, a lot of fish. I don't know if I agree with him, okay? I don't, I'm not gonna say I 100% agree with him and, and we're not gonna agree with everybody and, and how they keep fish because there's lots of ways. You know, we can do it, whatever works for you is what you should do. And, and I'm of the philosophy that you do need to have a little bit of your water from the old tank. I have I have just found that if I, just in, in a home I had before, I've, I've had several homes because I've, I've um, worked in different places, but one of the homes I had, I wasn't sure how I wanted to set up my tanks and I, I was there a few months and then I wanted to rearrange. Literally, I had, had them in a sunroom and then I, I wanted to use my sunroom for something else and so I moved them out of the sunroom into another room in that house and just drawing the water down so low 
so they were light enough and easy for me to handle to move into a different room I lost fish and I felt like for me it was just too much of a water change it was just too big of a water change at once I just think it was too stressful drawing that water down it was a, it was only a 20 tall but I brought the water down uh, where I could lift it and I'm just your average you know woman I'm not a you know, super strong or anything but uh, that's where I could just move it from one room to the next room and when I filled that tank back up I guess I did it too quickly I, I just went ahead and filled it back up and uh, but it was the same decorations the same gravel the same sponge filter but um, I mean right away I just started my fish just started dying off it was terrible and uh, really had to I don't you know it just makes you sad when you when, when a tank crashes like that that's what I call it when you just have a just a massive die off in a tank so I feel like you should not do that. I've uh, what Michael suggested. I I don't think you should just fill it up with brand new water and put them in it. You know, but if it, if it works for him, that's great. I'm a little scared to do that. So I have have uh, brought the water down to a level that I can carry the tanks. So I've brought the water down to probably a th about a third or a fourth of what should be in the tank. And then I'm driving two hours south. And when I get where I'm going, I'm going when I get home, I'm going to only fill that tank up about halfway full. I'm not going to go 100% today. I'm going to just take it slow. I'm going to then add a little water in a few more days and a few more days till I get it back to a, the level I want. Now, and that's just what I'm going to do. And I'm, I'll let you guys know how that how that goes and if that if that worked. But I, I love my fish, and we all do, or we wouldn't keep fish. And I don't want to lose the ones I have. And um, so that's what I'm going to do today. When I get to where I'm going, I'm going to take these tanks in, and I'm not going to fill them all the way up with clean water. I'm going to only fill them about halfway up. And then I'm going to wait a few days and then just start adding, you know, a, a little water every day till I get them back to the, to the water level that, I'm, that I like in my tanks. I hope you will check out Michael's Fish Room. It's a great YouTube channel. And on March 1st, he did a video called How to Move with Fish or something like that. But check out that video. Now, he doesn't agree with me the way I'm moving my fish, but that's okay. I think the more we watch on YouTube about fish keeping, we can look at different ideas and then make up our own mind. Well, thanks for watching this video, y'all. And until next time, have a great day. Bye. Okay, y'all. Well, it's great visiting with you today. It's a beautiful day today. Y'all have a great day. Until next time, bye.